video, we are going to learn about the neuron. First, let us see the different parts of a neuron. Here we have a diagram of neuron. Let us identify the different parts of the neuron by labeling them. This is cell body. These are dendrites. And this is the axon. And these are the narrow terminals or narrow endings. Here this is the cell body of the neuron. We can observe a nucleus in the cell body. So cell body has a nucleus. And we can also observe some branches that are arising from the cell body. These branch-like structures arising from the cell body are called dendrites. Here we find a long fiber extending from the cell body. This long fiber is called axon. At the end of the axon, we will find some small branches called as nerve endings. So the tips of the axon are called nerve endings or nerve terminals. Now let's see how the nerve cell functions. What is its role? What is its function? How do these nerve cells help us? Nerve cells help us in transmission of information from one part to another part of our body. Let us understand this with the help of an example. We see an object with our eyes. The visual information of that object is to be carried to our brain to recognize that object. Then how the information is carried from eye to brain? That is by nerve cells. The dendrites of the neuron receive the information. The axon passes the information to the next neuron. When the dendrites of a neuron receives the information, they start a chemical reaction that generates an electric impulse. This electric impulse travels from the dendrite to the cell body and then along the axon and finally reaches the nerve endings. The nerve endings are not directly connected to the other neuron because there is some gap between one nerve cell and the other nerve cell. So this gap, this junction is called a synapse. Here is a question. If the neurons are not connected to one another, then how the electrical impulses pass from one neuron to another neuron? Let's see. At the ending of the axon, that is at the site of nerve endings, the electrical impulses triggers the release of some chemicals. That means the electric impulse is converted to some chemical. These chemicals, they cross the gap. They reach the dendrite of next neuron. So there they create similar electrical impulse. When these chemicals reach the dendrite of next neuron, there a similar electric impulse is created. This electrical impulse pass from the dendrite to the axon. Again, it travel throughout the axon, finally reaches the nerve endings. So finally, at the end, the neuron is connected to the target cells. What are the target cells? It can be either muscles or glands. So at the end, the neuron is connected to the target cell by a synapse. We know what is a synapse. Synapse is a gap between the neuron and the next neuron.